When I say the acronym AIO Computer, most of you out there immediately think of the well-known and very popular iMac, but there are actually Windows-based AIO PCs out there. Now, you may think, yeah, I knew that, but they're all just boring business computers, right? Well, this is where you are wrong and also where the Dell XPS 27 comes in. It's a Windows-based AIO computer with a quad-core Skylake i7, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, and discrete Radeon M485X graphics. All of this hardware is housed inside of a gorgeous all-aluminum chassis with a dark finish. And on the front, you'll find the 27-inch 4K IPS touch display. This thing is seriously beautiful. It's incredibly vibrant and gets fairly bright. In terms of color accuracy, it's got a fantastic sRGB score of 187% compared to the 5K IMAX 130%. In other tests, however, it's not that accurate and could use some calibration if you plan on making it your professional photo and video editing machine. Now, as I said before, it's a touch display and actually a rather good one. I am not entirely sure, however, how that would be useful in a computer like this. I am sure though that someone else knows exactly what to do with a touch computer. The stand can make the computer go almost completely flat, which I guess is good for maybe graphics design and drawing. So in front of the display is a sheet of glossy glass which gets bombarded in fingerprints as soon as you use the touch functionality. So just below the awesome display you'll find a rather unusual set of speakers. On most AIOs, the speakers are not even visible, but here you've got 6 in the front and 4 below, making the Dell XPS 27 the loudest AIO I've ever heard. Clarity and detail-wise, these sound fantastic, but they don't have that much bass at all. In between the front speakers, there is a webcam and a Windows Hello Iris scanner. The webcam is of mediocre quality and its placement doesn't help in any way. The Iris scanner, however, did not even work on our review unit, it's not recognized by Windows for some reason. But I've done some research though, and according to most sources, the iris scanner works great with Windows Hello and is supposed to be very fast. So on the sides, there is a very welcomed USB Type-A port, an SD card reader, and a headphone jack. The back port situation, however, is in terms of just sheer ports, great. It's got two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, four USB Type-A ports, an Ethernet jack, HDMI out, and DisplayPort out. It's pretty sad, however, that the DisplayPort and HDMI out ports are just out. There is no way to use just the monitor itself and not the computer. This makes the PC not very future-proof at all. In terms of accessing the ports, though, it's a struggle, as they are all hidden behind the thick aluminum stand. In the box, you get a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. The mouse feels very cheap and just doesn't work for me. The keyboard, however, is really good. It feels, unlike the mouse, premium. The clicks are good, with just enough resistance and clickiness from a non-mechanical keyboard. The layout is also great. It's got the full numpad and dedicated media control keys. Really good job on this Dell. Performance-wise, the XPS 27 got a Cinebench CPU score of 813 and an OpenGL GPU score of 106 FPS. Keep in mind though that our review unit is running the last gen M385 GPU, so you can expect all GPU related scores in this video to be better with a new GPU. Speaking of GPUs, can it game? Yes, it actually can. While definitely not at 4K, the XPS 27 can pull out some pretty good and playable FPSs in easy to run games. It flows through photo editing with ease. It can also actually do some 4K video editing as long as you don't have the preview window at the native 4K resolution. I rendered a 3 minute long 4K video in Sony Vegas in 19 minutes compared to the 9 minutes and 38 seconds on my 8 core AMD Ryzen CPU. So with all this rendering and playing games, the CPU and GPU put out a lot of heat that have to be cooled. The cooling system does a good job of cooling the components so that they don't throttle while at the same time being very quiet. I appreciate that. The XPS 27 is available in various different configurations. 
They all start at 1449 US dollars. That gives you a 4K non-touch display with an i5 CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 1 terabyte hard drive. There are other configurations like the ultra high-end $2700 one. However, I think the best one to buy would be the $2,000 one. It bumps up the CPU to an i7, it also doubles the RAM and hard drive capacities. So as a conclusion, the Dell XPS 27 is a great all-in-one computer with a punchy speaker system. Its 4K screen is one of the best I've ever seen and the performance is good enough for most people. So what do you guys think of the Dell XPS 27? Let me know by liking or disliking this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.